Hey guys, wanted to come on video and talk about a really, really interesting find. This little microchip, I've actually got another one right sitting right here. It's the size of a quarter, or even smaller actually, and um, it's an amplifier. It's a 5 volt, uh, it runs on 5 volts, so you can run it off a of USB power if you wanted to, which uh, I am doing. Um, anyway, uh, it's a three watt, uh, speaker dry, uh, driving amplifier. So, um, I've got them hooked up to these cheapo four inch, uh, pile, pile of crap speakers. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're good for testing, but, um, anyway, um, I've got the music hooked up, uh, to like to my computer. So there's my, my laptop music on iTunes. Anyway, um, I, you have to like go ahead and like solder your own um, hardware to it. So I've got it, as you can see, wired up to the 5 volt to a 2.5 by 5.5 barrel. And um, that's hooked into a USB um, battery pack. This is a, you know, it's kind of like a phone charger, um, you know, uh, external uh, on the go phone charger thing anyway and you know I've got 22 uh, gauge wires hooked into it got some RCAs over here plugged into the computer and uh, let's see how it sounds <laughs> So I wouldn't say it's really loud or anything, but um, it's uh, loud enough for, you know, like personal enjoyment. Um, I do have the uh, volume on the computer up at halfway, which is about unity level um, or I guess uh, line unity level. So um, that is uh, basically where uh, the sound is, is good before it starts peaking out. Um, and I can tell that like this is the uh, point where uh, the sound is the cleanest. If I turn it up louder, then um, it'll start distorting. So let's see how that sounds. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's a three watt um, amplifier. You can't really uh, expect too much out of it but it is a uh, nice it's good enough to um listen to music and enjoy with so it's just incredible that something this small can produce that much sound um i'm very impressed um yeah so oh uh the price on this thing was probably about a dollar and i've probably got this uh power packs probably retails about ten dollars i think i got it for five bucks um, the 5.5 barrel, uh, connector probably costs like 250. So, um, the things that are mounted onto the chip is actually a lot more expensive than the chip itself. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, incredible what you can find, um, the technology that's out there. So just want to share that with you guys. And, um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in, you know, like, uh, maybe making self-powered speakers out of like little, little speakers like this, like this might be a really good way to go. All right. Take care. All right, guys. Really, really fast video. I, uh, went ahead and clean, neatly packed it up into this box right here. You can see that, uh, it's pretty compact. We've got some RCAs and, uh, uh 2.2 2, 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter barrel and uh spring terminals for the speaker here's the lid i'll just attach that as well as i can but that's the entire speaker system and i've got a really cheap uh what do you call it uh ipod player but anyway let's hear it <laughs> You look at 
for using copyrighted music but anyway I thought uh, this system's kind of uh, pretty cool I mean that's the entire amplifier right there and these are foreign speakers so you know you can kind of gauge the size of that from here but all right hope you find that interesting